Cool, that's on, you're on. Mm -hmm. I'm on. This is not on. No. Press that and it comes on. Yeah, uh, it hasn't turned the actual gimbal on yet. Oh. Actual. Can you do that with fucking... Yes. Boom. I can actually do it with my talons. Where should I stand? Wherever you want to. Stand here. You're going to stand around there. The lights, yeah, the light's good. It hides face a lot. Do I start? Hey, everyone. We are... Peter, what are you doing? <laughs> we are home from America. We are back in our studio. And we are also back shooting with beautiful Rara, who's hiding under there. We just finished our latest tutorial for Inspire and just thought we'd give you guys a little behind the scenes as we like doing. And also we recently got the skylights changed in here so it's like super bright and Peter hasn't had a chance to play with the natural light that it gets from that. So we might have a bit of a play with that as well and see what kind of natural light we get now that it's super bright in here. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to add. So maybe we can throw it to Peter. Awkward. Stop looking. Awkward. <laughs> I hate when you do right, I'll throw it to Beck. I'll just first got to throw it <laughs> to <laughs> her <laughs> VR. It's because we're back three. in Australia. And it's hot. And it's three minutes after three. And it's warm. It actually kind of skipped that last crappy part of winter and it's now like a nice sunny day knowing Melbourne. It'll go back to being freezing cold tomorrow though. I'm really enjoying making her rotate to get ugly light on her face. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, it's doing the thing. Oh. It's doing a thing. It's doing the thing. Cool. So what we were doing before or earlier is just setting up um, a lighting, I've done my shredded jeans, I'm fairly well known for shredding up jeans, then making models wear them. Uh, in the past I've shot in the white psych, um, but we decided to shoot in the grey psych here. And with the grey psych my background was falling too dark too quick. So I've changed a few things. Up in the white side I could bounce my octobox off the white floor and bounce back into the model. So instead of doing that, I've got a bit of white foam here. Um, it's a, a five foot octobox. Um, I'm just bouncing. The most of the power of the light is coming down and hitting the foam. And that's giving me a, like a clamshell effect on Rara. But at the same time, even though this is pointing down, the direction of light that's hitting Rara is that angle and that angle. So we've got two fairly shallow angle directions of light hitting on, which is going to give a really nice soft light. The fall off was really quick, so it was falling off extremely quick to here, because I was predominantly using bounce light here. I have a, the little B10, which is an awesome little handy light, but that with a grid on a, I don't know what that reflector's called, uh, wide zoom. So I've got a, a 10 degree grid on a wide zoom, and I've got that pointed, just in down towards the bottom of the floor, I'm getting a little bit of fall off, which is giving me a slight halo be behind the model and protecting the detail behind her. And I think that's it's in standby. Let's put it back to normal. Um, this is on 6.1 and by memory, oh, I think that's on about 6.6. .6. Um, my settings on the camera, I am at f8 160th of a second at 100 ISO. Uh, what I'll do, I might take it back to a colour shot so you can see. Come around this way, actually. See a. So if I just snap off a picture, so the first frame you see is in colour, and you'll see my exposure. That didn't flash. You broke it. <laughs> you broke it. Back broke it. There we go. <laughs> so up on the screen now has popped up the shot. Um, if I just move my EV slider, I'm about, where am I? About there. I'm just under a half a stop under um, overexposing on her leg. So that's about perfect 
for what I want. Uh, in with the shoots we've been doing, I've just taken it to black and white, and if you like, I'll, I'll just rebuild my black and white. Um, in fact, it's better if I just go to what we're shooting and then I can show you what I did. So I ran 87 in the green channel and 13 in the blue channel. Now, sorry, you can't do this in Capture One or uh, Lightroom but, or, or ACR, but you can do that in Photoshop, just in Channel Mixer, if you want to run that same type of um, grey on it. I've pulled down, if I turn that and that off, so there's my grey channel as is. Then I've put in a just a down curve to try and force contrast into the highlights and pull some contrast out of the shadows. And then in this area here, I've punched some contrast, a lot of shadow fill, and the lovely Hasselblad clarity, which doesn't sharpen. It just gives me that beautiful clarity punch. In, if I was shooting this on a Sony and I was coming into ACR, I can get a very, very similar look in ACR now using a mixture of their clarity, pulling some texture off the clarity and then bringing in some dehaze will give me nearly the same look with a bit of shadow fill. And I think we've mentioned before the reason that we don't have any tutorials on Capture One is because Peter can't get the same look that he likes out of it. So no, we don't have tutorials on that. Yet. One Yet. day, when I get... A, <laughs> when I get um, one minute time free. <laughs> Seriously, very soon, it might even be Christmas before I get a chance, but I want to sit down with Capture One and try and get my look out of Capture One because I know there's a lot of you guys who like it. I'm not saying it's a crap program, I'm just saying I haven't worked out how to get my look in there yet. But at the same time, I haven't spent much time on it. I've only tethered on Capture One maybe three times this year, and two of those times were for Zeiss, where I have to tether Masoni to something and Capture One's really the only thing I want to tether it to. So um, I really haven't learnt my look yet, but I am definitely going to do something when I have, when Beck lets me have one day free. Oh, so it's my fault. Well, I had to cap proof her house two days ago. <laughs> so I've got to cap proof your house too. Thanks. You're a really good cap proof of. Uh, Anyway, let's get off that. <laughs> so these are the settings. Um, I'm now going to take a frame, and like I said earlier, with this program, which again is Focus, it's for Hasselblad. I'm sorry, I, I hate rubbing this in on you. I wish Focus, uh, wish Hasselblad continued with the way they were going to continue a couple of years ago and make this program available to tether for everybody, but unfortunately, uh, another company bought them out and that killed that from happening. Um, it just means whatever's on my screen now, I can take a picture and those settings will be instantly put onto my new picture. So as you'll see, there's my new picture with the settings applied to them. I'm pretty happy with that. Look, I just want to, it's going to vary the fraction. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now with this, it's, you'll see if I should just, what I'll do, I'll just turn off this light for one second just so you can see what's happening with this light so if I take a shot now without the backlight on you'll see it's so subtle but gee it makes a big difference that shot see how it doesn't feel like a little spotlight behind but it's just giving me that pop in the background so I have I've got detail in my uh, background behind so let's get that back on and that's pretty much the lighting and from, well done. <laughs> I didn't fall, I nearly did. That, that's your second beer, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. We'll get it away from the Beck show. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just get, let you see Rara and I working for a little bit. We'll just do a couple of different looks. Um, cool, that's really pretty. Cool. We'd normally be playing music in here, but YouTube then picks on you if you have copywritten music. But with Rara, it'd be normally stuff like Aerosmith. It would be Guns N' Roses, a bit of Akadaka. Uh, who else? Oh, a little Tyler, the Creator. Tyler, the Creator. Yeah, a bit of... Um, cool, cool, awesome, awesome. That's really cool, cool. And with this, with Rara, I don't really need to say much in the way of posing. We've been working a lot together and I don't like posing models. And I'll show you why. So Rara, can you bring both knees up a bit higher? Yes. 
right? And I want you to lean your head over that way a little bit. That's it. And I want you to bring your hand up here a little bit. That's it, cool. Drop your head over a little bit. Can everyone see that face? That's not how you get a good picture out of a model. That is so uncomfortable for her. It's not how she sits, it's not how she poses. That's how she sits. Cool, cool. She's awesome, beautiful. And if I want an amazing picture out of a model, all I do is give them some thoughts in their head to get the look. And Rara is really, really simple. I just got to talk about rock stars. There we go. She absolutely loves Justin Bieber, by the way. It's her favorite. Oh. Uh, she's like me, she's like the old school rock stars. Cool. Some Zeppelin. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. That's cool. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. And this is the way I like to work. And I know I'm on a tripod, but it means I can just concentrate on getting my expression. I'm not worrying about reframing or even refocusing every shot because she's not moving back and forward I'm not moving back and forward I can just I can even come to here and not even look at her because I know that Rara is going to do oh good she is she's going to do cool stuff cool got a smiling she hates smiling shots and hates that one too cool awesome bringing those eyes cool beautiful so what we might do We'll just bring the camera off Rara for a second because she's going right. to... We have taped her. What I mean taped her. Oh, I can't see it. Was it over here? We have... This is also based on the last thing we did on YouTube with the amount of guys that saw her do a little bolt across in the background behind Beck. And, had and to it was leave like some, one millisecond of it. Leave some she lovely had, comments. Put some what? Lovely comments. Lovely comments. She has this on her boobs. So nobody actually saw nothing. The people who think they saw her topless, guess what? She had the smallest bikini in the world. <laughs> and the person that sees me topless is Peter. I don't even want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to see it. But anyway, but this for doing this stuff and with any model, as soon as you come out and you offer the model tape, they know that you're not interested in seeing and they're just more relaxed with shooting with you. Cool? Cool. So do you want to go over there and take your top Are off but leave your tape on? That, oh, we're going to do a chair with that. Yes. Ah. We, we found a new chair. We found a new chair, that's right. So that's pretty much showed this look, which is a replication of looks that I've done in the past. Um, I found a chair very close to the factory. It's another factory that has furniture and I found this really cool chair. So Rara well. and I decided we're, we're going to shoot with this chair. But the difference is I'm going to change the lighting. So really quick, first thing, I'm going to just kill the power of this. Watch so out. Oh, like, <laughs> you know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to go back and start at square one. So the chair's there with our new light. We've got some actually cool light coming in. I'm going to lift that out of, in fact, I'm going to get that right out of the way so the skylight can come right in on Rara. I'm actually, there's a nice, that's kicking in through there. You're going to be fine with this open as well, Rara? Yeah. So I'm going to, while I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking at my psych while I open. First, I'll just open the curtains and see what difference I get on the psych. Oh, there's a glow. That gave me a really nice glow. That's a really cool glow on there. I might see what I get with opening this one. So all I'm doing is I'm watching what happens on the psych when I open these curtains up. That really didn't do much at all. Oh, I did a little bit. The tiny bit of fill come in there. The other thing I'm going to do is we've got this patch of light hitting the floor here. Now the concrete's not that strong. Extremely overexposed on my camera, but it's Sorry? very bright in real life. So if I dump this over on here, even though our rod's a long way away, if I put that there, what I'm going to do myself, if I stand back where Rara is, yeah, I can see that. That white on the floor is the brightest thing. Is that the brightest thing you can see? Yes. Right, so that is definitely having an effect on the picture. 
Because when I look this way, if that is absolutely the brightest thing I can see down there, which means I've got this beautiful kick light coming up onto Rara there. Um, I can't shoot this in the same setting, so I'm going to be... I want to shoot it sort of more my... Um, film type of look. So with that, as I love getting, especially on the Hasselblad, down to 800 ISO because it gives me this sort of an emulsion-y, filmy feel. Oops, bang, I don't want the trigger on anymore. Get off. Just gonna set up my shot first. Cool, let's get a bit more height on it. So, and this is another reason why I do like using tripod. I can set up my exact shot depending on the feel that I want and I don't have to worry about getting, yeah, see that's a bit of a bend. I'd have to do this a bit if I was shooting, but on the tripod I can just lean in. That's looking really cool. Right, I'm gonna jump onto 800 ISO. Um, I'm gonna guesstimate 5.6 to 160th at 800 ISO. Snap off a frame, bang. I don't normally do this in black and white because I'm not getting all three color channels. That's already looking pretty cool, but I should do it the way I would normally do it, which means I'll jump onto a, a shot that has no adjustments made on it. Come on, I had one before, surely. Yeah, there we go. So that has no adjustments at all made on it. And also notice sharpening is zero and turned off. I hate sharpening. I'll do my test shot now in color for my exposure because now I can see all three channels and the black and white picture one frame earlier is not showing overexposed, but the color picture was. Ooh, what happened there? Must be close to. Oh yeah, it's really close to. There it is, it was overexposing. I don't know what happened, but that's now saying it's overexposed. So whenever I'm setting up my exposure, um, if I'm shooting tethered or non-tethered, I will always um, set up my exposure based on highlight alerts. That's looking fine now. My exposure's looking fine. I'm quite liking that light. If we zoom in onto her eyes a lot, You'll see, see the whiteboard and the reflection off the floor of the whiteboard so you can see how strong a light that's kicking into her face. And it's given this beautiful up light which has cleaned everything out. So I'm happy with that. Quickly going to jump onto grayscale. And I'm happy with just, I'm just gonna run the blue channel dead, uh, sorry, the green channel flat on that. I'm definitely gonna put a curve because you can see how that's sort of chroming the skin a little bit. And then by punching some clarity and shadow fill, I'll get my exposure back up to where I want it. And it's just a matter of, I know the look I want, so it's really easy for me to just to slide sliders because I know that I'm gonna most likely vignette this down a little bit heavier uh, later on, but I can do a little bit now. Let's just put a little bit of vignette on that. I'm gonna turn it on to see it, you idiot. Yeah, you'll just see that slight vignetting down just to pull you back into that picture. And I'm liking that. A bit more contrast. And there's my, the type of shot that I want. Maybe, it's, uh, maybe I'll do it without the contrast. Yeah, so it, on this picture later on, um, and I might, I might even do another YouTube on one of these pictures. So I'll tie myself into doing a retouch on one of these. I wanna pull this background down a bit more and have um, Rara drop pop out a bit more. I'm just gonna use a down curve and then mask it off sloppily, sloppily over her to get the look I want. Um, I think there, I'm just gonna take a couple of frames and see how I go. Cool. Awesome. Cool. The reason I'm taking a couple of frames is that I find it really hard to set up my picture when it's just a test shot, but it's easier when I've got a pose, like a 
got Ra Ra working for the shot, it's easier for me to get my look because I'll find a pitch that I like the feel of. I think I like that. That's got a bit more edge. Because now I get the feel of the picture more. Yeah, that's going to work. I needed to push that a little bit more. Cool. Yeah, that's more my look. And I just might, might pop up the centre a fraction more in post. I'll just see what my saturation does. In fact, that's better. So I'm pulling off a fair bit of that effect by pulling that down that's looking really cool yeah that, there's my shot there it's just a matter of me getting my angles and look but i'm liking this cool 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 starting keep going keep going cool 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 i'm liking this but i'm just not loving it i think it's my camera angle and if it's not the camera angle, it's my lens. If it's not my lens, it's where I'm shooting from. And if it's not all of that, it's the light, it's crap. The model's always perfect, so cool. I like that. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I like Can that. you, yeah, that's much nicer down there. Can you get both legs up on the chair? Yeah. That's cool, there, there, that's much better. You broke it. Oh, you only just bought that. It cost us like $100. Cool, that's really cool. That's just stunning, stunning, stunning. Look at those eyes. That's really pretty. Cool, cool. I like that a lot. Beautiful. Bring in those eyes. Stunning. What I'm going to do is just do something a little bit different. I'm going to jump onto my Sony. I've got this on autofocus, which I don't normally do on my Sony. I'm also going to very quickly change my drive. So I never do this, but let's do it. So I'm taking away from single shot to multi shot, which I gonna, never do. You're going to spray and pray. No, I'm not, uh, sort of. <laughs> I'll spray and maybe a little bit pray. I should be doing it. What <laughs> Beck, you set me up for that. <laughs> I wish That's I caught right, more. It's all right, Rara. I'm just going to do the ugliest pictures I can. It's called payback. <laughs> so with this, I'm using, I've got continual autofocus set on eye detection. Cool, cool. Nice, nice, nice. You ever heard me do that before? No. That's actually cool. It's like you with the drill yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually because it makes me feel I got power. Um, oh it's something I saw the la last couple of shoots. I noticed Peter Lindbergh shot, shot a lot with his cool. And why I'm saying this is on this next tutorial I'm going to do for YouTube, I'm going to let you just see a comparison. Cool. That's really cool. Nice. Of the shots I get off my Hasselblad single shooting or by me spraying and praying, but this eye focus is friggin' awesome. It just sticks on her the whole time. Cool. That's stunning. That makes me feel really tough. <laughs> cool. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Oh awesome. What are we going to do with you? Awesome. I'll just finish it that, otherwise I'll keep playing with this all day. Yeah. Um, and I heard Sony's got a new one out that does something like 90 frames a second in little bursts. That would be really cool, but not the way I normally shoot. And my normal way of shooting is on the Sony is manual focus, single shot. But anyway, one other thing I just want to do before we wrap it up. So what I'm going to do is Rara's going to get herself respectable. Yeah, I just flipped it to me. You flicked it to you. Oh, for a sec. Cool. <laughs> now she's going to come up here with me. Uh, yeah. Well, I need it. Wait, no, over here. Oh, you got to put your shoes on. I got your clogs. <laughs> your clogs. Your clogs. My <laughs> clogs. I think, yeah, it's covering you. It's pretty cool. So with Rara, oh, you're going <laughs> to lean on me. Now I think, feel like Jason Lang, or whatever his name is. No, it's all right. <laughs> We've been working together for a long time, haven't we? Yes. A long, long time. Seven, seven, seven years. Seven years, yeah. With the last video we did of her, which was the One Light video, we had a few people saying, 
all these red light moments, all these warning signs of that. And we also had people commenting about, you know, they waited to the end and they saw her little glimpse of her running in the background. She had tape on her boobs. If I was a sleazy photographer, would I ever offer, has any other photographer ever offered you tape? Uh, no, but I wouldn't, I don't usually have, I don't usually feel comfortable. With other people, with but, other no, people. If, but no, no other photographer in seven years of you modeling has ever and offered you tape. I had tape on and I wouldn't have been running, running around. <laughs> and was with there? my breasts out. No. <laughs> And someone said that I was very rude the way I was bossing you around. No, not at all. That's just He's fashion, just isn't it? It's He's just working. I'm working. We're we not don't be say like, please, me. thank you, please. Well, even with moving you around the light, I don't need to say, hey, Ra Ra, can you take a step, please? Not at all. We've been working together for a long time. It's a long day. It's just what cool. happens. Cool. Anyway. Cool. My, my models are my money. If I don't get amazing expressions out of them, I don't get any amazing photos. I've been working for him for seven years if he was pushing me around. No. I'll tell you that, I push him around. <laughs> Bossy boots. Anyway, that's a, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, we have all our other stuff, our workshops now, Inspires, and you know, everyone's going to say, I'm creepy now. Thank you. It's me that's It's you creep. that's creep, yeah, not me. You'll see that I'm backing away. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave comments if you've got any suggestions what you'd like to see us do. We can do it. And there's one person in this room that really, she really loves goes. taking control of the finishing of the go. shot. I'm sorry. Because this is me. what she lives for. Just wait, we haven't quite finished yet. Oh, we need to. She she needs to have her prop and she'll skull it. Oh, you can't. Oh, Shuey! It's Shuey. That'll be the phone, Reg. That'll be the phone. You can answer it. It'll be my wife or something. Hey, <laughs> um, yeah, just as always, hope you guys inspire it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, we have Inspire. We've got Australia workshops in oh, November. They are about to sell out, so if they haven't sold out by the time this is up on YouTube and you do want to come, jump on. If not, there's a waiting list. You guys can send me an email and I'll let you know if any cancellations happen. Stop being a salesman just say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say. You're after a pay rise. You want me to earn more money no. so I can pay you more. No. Well, like we had people in LA who said that they found us through YouTube. So, right. and they, so I just wanted to let people know if they want cool. to see this in 3D. Anyways, I'll stop with the plug. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will catch you next time.